here we are. Okay, it's day six of the community gut cleanse. And just to recap for those watching the replay or those who are hopping on live, for the first day of this week, so on Monday, we all prepped our bodies by eating to the highest of our expression. We had juice cleanses. We some people were raw, some people omitted meat, some people omitted gluten, whatever was right for them. Day two, we took the intestinal cleanse packets and that moved our mucus plaque, pulled off mucus, pulled off fungus, pulled off bacteria, viruses, everything, parasites from the gut. Day three, we proceeded, we passed our mucoid plaques. We had a little bit of a break on Thursday to prep for the liver cleanse at our highest expression. Yesterday was the liver cleanse. And today, those who are on the other side of it have passed a lot of liver and gallstones. And so those liver and gallstones can look different. Some liver and gallstones are like tiny and green and um, some are really, really big. And as they build up in the, in the liver and gallbladder and release through the gut overnight, and really what triggers that is in this cleanse, you're drinking a lot of enzymes throughout the day, a lot of apple-based products, and then before you go to bed, this was not the super comfortable part for me, you drink an olive oil tincture, and then you lay on your right side, and for me, you have a little bit of pit in your stomach, a little bit of discomfort, and then through the night, your liver is stimulated. I was waking up at 2.30, 3 a.m., 3.30, really restless after that. That is the time in Chinese medicine that energy moves through the body in the liver and the gallbladder. So if, if you're like, oh, I always wake up at that time, I'm, that's when I'm like awake. Your, your liver produces an adrenaline surge to heal itself, to cleanse itself. And that's what wakes you up. I had dreams of struggle. The liver is the place of frustration, anger, rage. I woke up in quite the tizzy. You can ask Jeff. I like I was like, go get the water and like pretty much kicked him out of bed. And it was a real grump. And then I felt better once I took a walk past the stone, still passing until the morning. So I'm curious for those who are alive and those who have joined us, what has it been like this week for you? This morning I felt pretty rough and Thursday, not so great. Um, what's hilarious about this, and it's so funny, a cleanse really helps us see like what our body really wants and what's in alignment. Um, Jeff and I were talking yesterday because we were really hungry. We've only had juices or smoothies or fruit. I've just done juices. He's done, I think, smoothies and juices. And um, yesterday we were like, oh my God, a steamed potato. Can you imagine what a steamed potato with lemon juice is going to taste like? That's what I love about cleanses. It, it, sets, it resets our taste buds and our palate to get grateful for like what our body wants. Usually come Saturday and, and Friday night. Okay, Jeff, yeah, only just for you. Um, come Friday night and Saturday, we're like, we want sushi, do we want pizza? Do we want like acai? Do we want vegan ice cream? I mean, we're, we're ready to throw down and this weekend we're like, we're gonna keep it all raw. We're gonna keep it all raw until we go to Miami on Wednesday and then we'll probably have some sushi and he's Jeff is continuing with the blood cleanse. So the way in Chinese medicine that you can cleanse, it goes gut, and then liver, and then blood, and then lungs. And blood and lymph are in the same cleanse together. So that's what he's actually starting today now that he's done. I'm gonna hold off. I'm a little bit more sensitive and need time to recover from cleanses, um, probably more than other people. So, and I feel really, really good. And we were, Jeff and I were comparing gallstones. But anyway, so we're going on, we're continuing with raw. This is the day to, to, you know, if you want some like freaking cooked potatoes or some rice and beans, like you can have it. Ease in slowly. The hardest thing we can do after a cleanse is just because it's human nature, our, our fat cells have been dying off. They, they have their own chemistry to keep them alive. And they're like, feed me, feed me, feed me. Our fat cells have their own, they're their own organ. They are classified as an organ in the body. They have their own endocrine system. They have their own leptin and ghrelin and, and they produce their own estrogen that tells us, feed me, feed me. So those have been dying off. So just know, check in with your hunger of like, is my, am I, do I feel hungry in the sense of I need fuel? Is my brain hungry because it misses food? That's usually me. Or are my fat cells running the show? Like what, what is it that you need? Make a plan. I promise you when you plan out your food, when you visualize something that really helped me along my healing journey in my morning pages, my devotional, my planner, my automated writing, my card pull, I would 
write out what I was going to eat in the day. And once I had it visualized as a picture, my body was like, that's what we're going to eat. And it, the subconscious doesn't know the difference between what you tell it, it's 11, 11 and what it's, and what it, what is real. So if you have a mental picture of what you're going to do, subconscious is like, that's what I'm going to do. So visualize for the next couple days, easing back into things. Jeff and I last night planned out the rest of our meals until Miami. And then we're planning on making a whole food stop. Once we get there, I'm going to pick up some juice. He'll probably go back to more heats, a little bit more heavier than I do, like hearty. Like he'd probably pick up like date balls and I don't know, maybe some like guac and carrots or something. And I like juice, smoothies, like fruit until the evening. Um, but have it in your mind, set yourself up for success. And then like, how can you be cleansing your body and live a normal life? People say all the time, I only feel good when I cleanse or like, I just wish that was attainable or I wish that was realistic, but it can be. So for example, the weekend before the cleanse started, I was in Tampa at a conference and I was staying in a hotel room didn't have access airbnbs you can do a little bit more with your own food but what i did is like once i landed went to whole foods got juice for a day got some snacks ate at a restaurant ordered a salad over ordered some super clean steamed veggies and rice and then just did juices and smoothies the conference was so busy i like did not sleep the whole weekend so i just had like uber eats bring me juice or smoothie or fruit or whenever i needed it so there are ways it's just in our mind we feel like we have to eat and live like the rest of the world and remember everyone's biochemistry is so different and also where you're at in your healing journey is not going to look like where someone else is at good for you if you're rolling your eyes at me and you're like oh jen's eating all wrong like years ago i'd be like that sounds terrible my body actually would have probably felt worse so you have to listen in to what works for you. If you're like, no, 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 I'm ready to get back to my light dinner and maybe you wanna stay meatless for a couple of days because meat takes longer to break down in the GI tract. It's not that it's bad. It's just, it takes a lot of digestion work and your body could be doing other things with that. And then maybe you, you've been like, hammering this out all week and you're salivating at the thought of a steamed potato with lemon juice. Jeff was on um, medicalmedium.com last night, his recipes, and he was like, hot, I don't even remember what it was, like hot pocket potatoes. He's like, cheese sauce with potatoes. He's like, he's crazy, but I want it and I want it right now. So like your, your taste buds are going to be renewed. What you normally want or crave, you're going to find a nice little reset. So after you get done with the cleanse, maybe you just pump the brakes and continue to feed your body good things. And then when you get in a situation like you're traveling or you're at a birthday party, that's the time to indulge. It's really common right after a cleanse to be like, I did that, now I wanna indulge. See if you can push the needle a little bit longer. And then if you're like, how do I keep this up? How do I continue to cleanse my body? How do I stay good, stay feeling good and continue to eat well? If you haven't already, download my one day detox guide. The link is in my Instagram bio. I'll link it in this video replay. But that will give you a sample day of how you could structure your food that I promise you your body will feel like it's cleansing. Essentially, you can start your miracle morning with a concoction of these few things, a lemon water, a lime water, a celery juice or a green juice, a smoothie or a fruit bowl, or some baked sweet potatoes with cinnamon and maple syrup. The goal in the morning to continue to cleanse is to keep overt fats out of your morning. So covert fats are like oils and and sorry, overt fats are like oils, nuts and seeds, animal protein, eggs, um, covert fats, they're in sweet potatoes, they're in spinach, they're in blueberries, they're in bananas. There are those macronutrients in all foods. There's even protein. So in the morning, your liver is still cleaning out, your body, your lymph system, your blood wants to stay purified. And so if you flush your gut with a little bit of citrus water, like lemon or lime, and then flush your liver with celery or green juice, and then refuel your cells with glucose with a smoothie, you'll stay cleansing. Your, your lunch, you can check out the One Day Detox Guide, or if you've been a symptomless client, you have your symptomless guide. We'll talk about some different things you can do for lunch, making lunch a little bit more um, hearty, but still keeping it light. And then ideally, a way that you can cleanse every day is see if you can keep animal protein, if you eat it, to your evening meal. If you don't eat animal protein, and even if you do, see if you can keep 
nuts, seeds, oils, anything other than raw fat like avocado. Well, raw nuts can be raw fat, but those are a little bit harder for the gut to break down. If you're noticing after you pass the plaque, you're like, wow, this is taking me a while to pass this puppy, then things sit in your gut for a while. And if they're harder to break down, even like beans are a wonderful food, macadamia nuts, pumpkin seeds, all these things are amazing foods. If they, if you have a sluggish or slower GI motility and things sit and breed bacteria longer, fermented foods, it's going to create a little bit more of, of a non-beneficial microbiome for you. And then someone wrote in and was like, wow, I passed beans that I ate a couple weeks ago in my mucoid plaque. A rule of thumb with things that are hard to pass in the GI tract is do an enema after or get colonics you know, maybe you're like, well, I take a week off of beans a month and get colonics once or twice a month. And your liver is healing. As you flush your gut early and often, and you're like, do I have to rely on colonics? Some people keep them in their, their regimen because you just are always so clean. They also flush out viruses and mucus. And some people do them just to increase glutathione production and heal a sluggish liver. So you have options. And just know if you're feeling super good after the cleanse, it's manageable to to keep up and you can always repeat the zen cleanse you don't have to be with us in this community you know how to do it now you can do the intestinal cleanse and the liver cleanse on repeat you might do a couple of intestinal cleanses before you feel ready for the liver the liver for me was a little bit harder um i was hungrier during the day and just the heavy oil, like that was a lot for me. Jeff got up out of bed at 6.30, went and mowed the yard. It took me a little bit to get going and went for a walk, had some bathroom activity and then started to feel better, sauna, shower, and now I'm like, okay, I'm back to life. Um, but you know, cleanse sometimes is not gonna make you feel well. Another gal, she was telling me via messenger, um, she's like, I'm foggy, I'm frustrated, I feel like a failure. And those emotions are old things living in your body that we talked about earlier this week that are going to come up to be processed, to be worked through, to be healed. So you can keep up this this longevity of how you're feeling. You can keep up a lifestyle of a cleanse. Um, I always say like there's restaurants if, you know, in our area, here are some names, but in the Kansas City area, but you can find this anywhere. You always have a grocery store. You always can run and grab some veggies, grab some avocado, grab some fresh fruit, picnic style in your car. Whole Foods, pretty much anywhere, unless you're in really rural, remote areas. They have juice, they have fruit, they have salad bar. They're great. Um, and stuff like Cafe Gratitude restaurants, Enjoy Pure Food, True Food Kitchen, uh, juice, juice restaurants that you can run in and grab, and then sushi, Asian, rice and vegetables, steam. There are ways, if we change the way we think about food, then the, the way we consume food and the way we heal our body using food will change. And then you know your body. If you know you can cleanse 80% of your week and then on the weekends or birthday parties, like you can enjoy other foods that might not make someone other than you not feel well. Like I know I just, my body knows what it wants when I don't really dabble around with it. But listen to your body on that. It's your journey, it's your, heal it's your healing, and it's up to you. So download the one day detox guide. Also check out our spiritual medicine healing retreat in January coming up. And for that retreat, all of the food is symptomless. You have various options of cleansing while you're on the beach in the sun. It's an energy healing, yoga, excursions. We go snorkeling. We're swimming with the fish. There's daily activities. We have a shaman that comes and does medicine ceremony with us. It's a beautiful retreat. And that takes place January 14th through the 19th, 2024. Inspirehealthbygen.com slash retreats. I'll put the link in the replay. And you have options. Just wanting cooked veggies and potatoes with very little olive oil and lemon juice and some honey. That sounds perfect. Yeah, that would be a great... Here's my recommendation on that. If that's what you're wanting, save it for tonight. Try to do some raw like fruits and smoothies, juice throughout the day, maybe a little salad. And then have the meal a few hours before you go to bed and that would be perfect. And motility can change. It will get better. It's part of healing the thyroid. It's part of healing the liver. It's part of healing the nervous system. Absolutely so. All right, well, I'll leave it here tomorrow for the last Community Cleanse Live, 7 p.m. Central on Sunday. If you don't see me right at seven, no, I'm, I'm about to hop on. I tend to just, I don't know, I'm a couple minutes late to my own party these days. Um, but we'll be doing an energy healing, we'll be doing readings, and we're going to get back into the groove with that, slowly build that up. And I hope to see you all there.